As I stand to speak for the first time in our new parliament building, I'm filled with pride and pleasure that it's the long-awaited Women's Reservation Bill that I'm getting an opportunity to speak about, sir. While we are celebrating 75 glorious years of our parliament journey, I have to mention being the first independent woman MP from Karnataka, I'm very well versed with the challenges we women face when we choose to enter a public life. And there was a time when women were not even considered eligible to vote. And we have to remember some of our great leaders like Savitri Bai Phule, Sarojini Naidu, and of course, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, who have fought and pioneered the women's rights in our country. We have traveled a long path of challenges to come to realize the aspirations of millions of uh, women who are deserving and capable of playing important roles in the most important decision-making bodies of our country. Sir, I come from Karnataka, where women like Kittu Rani Chennamma, Abaka Rani, Onke Obawa are celebrated as icons of bravery and women's pride. Sir, in parts of Karnataka, we also have been following a system called Aliya Santana, which follows a matrilineal system, where women are considered superior in every which way. Sir, this I consider as part of our Sanatana Dharma. Bharat is the only country which calls women a Shakti, Shakti Swarupini, also which I believe is a reflection of our Sanatana Dharma today. Sir, dreams are dreams unless and until you have the will and the conviction to make them a reality. And I thank the Honorable Prime Minister Modi and his cabinet for having the conviction and the will to demonstrate this truth today. And this, I believe, this bill will help us achieve the United Nations Mandated Sustainable Development Goal 5, which focus on, focuses on women empowerment as well as gender equality. Today, as we stand on the cusp of this great bill, which attempts to bring more representation for women who have been underrepresented for so long in our country, I wholeheartedly welcome and support this bill and I believe this will help us bring closer to change the course of countless women of our country. Thank you, sir. For Thank you.